Meghan Markle is believed to be taking on the role of guest editor-in-chief for the September issue of Vogue, but a royal expert has claimed the copy will be looked over. Meghan Markle will have her PR people look over her as she is believed to take on the role of guest editor-in-chief for the September issue of Vogue. The Duchess of Sussex will reportedly discuss causes close to her heart in an opinion piece and will help select female changemakers to contribute. Speaking on Sunrise, royal expert Robert Jobson joked royal amateurs are doing us journalists out of a job. He said, the reality is she will use this as a platform. She has been out of the public spotlight really on maternity leave. She will use this to talk about some of the issues. It will not just be about fashion, but it will also be all about female empowerment and some of the issues that she wants to address. I think it is a great thing. She has certainly had that experience with her website, The Tig, which she had to close down. It is something she wants to do to get her messages out there. The royal expert was then asked whether the Duchess of Sussex would need to seek approval from the royal family before the edition is published. He replied, I think that it will be looked over, but I don't think it will have to be approved. Prince Harry and her will be discussing it and I am sure that her PR people will be involved as well. He added, essentially it will be her as the guest editor and she will be the one who wants to put her views out there. Harry guest edited the Today Show, an influential BBC show, Charles has edited The Country Life. It is the way they are doing this more and more and they are just cutting out the middleman. The Duchess of Sussex has, however, been warned about taking on the role, with one expert claiming the decision is a really big deal. E. Chief News Correspondent Melanie Bromley said, This is a really big deal, the reason being that we've seen Diana doing magazine covers. We've seen Kate with the British Vogue anniversary, as well, but being the editor and having editorial control is a very, very interesting choice. We talk about the royals not being political a lot, not having a strong viewpoint in either way, so they're not alienating anybody. This could be seen as quite dangerous. The royal family traditionally do not voice their political views and remain neutral. But, earlier this week Prince William discussed Brexit with farmers, during his and Kate's, the Duchess of Cambridge, visit to the Lake District. 